Hey guys, welcome to Appypy Connect. I'm Sunil and today I'm going to show you how to integrate YouTube with other third-party apps and automate data between those apps. So today we are on Appypy Connect and Appypy Connect is a web-based integration platform so which is a task automation platform which allows end users to automate their data between all the business applications. So right now, right at the moment, uh, Appypy Connect supports uh, 150 plus business applications so the, the application you see over here right you can see have multiple business applications like HubSpot, Pipedrive and you know Salesforce, PayPal, Stripe, Slack, Facebook, Tableau, Facebook page, MailChimp, MailChimp, e-commerce, repo so all the top level uh, apps that we support and allow end users to integrate one another and then automate the data between these apps so today let's see how we can integrate youtube with the other third party apps and then automate the data so let me go ahead and log into my account all right there you go all right I just logged into the uh, connect portal RAM. Now let's get started creating a connect. So connect is uh, a com. You can, you can in another name you can call it as a workflow. So where you have to set up a trigger and action, and then based on the criteria and configuration, the data would get uh, automated between the apps. So today we're going to do YouTube new video and. And notify in Slack. Okay, all right. So since we are doing automation between the YouTube to Slack, so I'm going to choose YouTube here. All right. So the trigger app would be YouTube, and yeah. So let me go ahead and choose. So whenever there is a new video in my channel, so I wanted to intimate into my Slack channel. So this is, this is very useful. So whenever you have a, a company YouTube channels, like so whenever there is an important video comes in, so there is no, I mean like, you can have an automatically send it over to your Slack channel, the workplace where you guys work. So that way you will have an instant update on what's going on and all the updates on your YouTube so so that's such a way you can actually avoid the manual task of you know having somebody to you know intimate in everybody sending an email or intimating so now we have chosen YouTube channel as I mean YouTube as a trigger and uh, new video channel as uh, our trigger event so now so now we need to authorize the YouTube account. So which is uh, what authorization we use. Uh, so so we maintain is a bank level encryption. So so that we basically don't know taking an extra care in terms of security all of that. So let me go ahead and show you how to integrate YouTube. So go ahead and click on connect account and so you'll have to authorize by getting into an account so I'm choosing my account over here so since uh, my connect I mean like my API connect is in a beta version so app was not approved still so go ahead and approve your permissions all right there you go so here is my newly added YouTube account so I'm going ahead and continue now with this, I'm done with the three steps of the four in my trigger setup. Now the last step is edit options. So there I have to update my channel ID. So the channel ID would be a unique ID that you can get that it, I mean, that is assigned to your YouTube channel. So let me get the YouTube channel ID and then let me paste it all here. So this is my channel ID. I'm going ahead and continue with that. Now with this, we are done with the trigger setup.
for new videos now we have to let's let's integrate uh, slack so let me choose slack as my action app now here uh, yeah so you see a bunch of uh, events like uh, send a direct message send a channel add reminder there are a few more uh, you can even go ahead and click on to get more and there are some such events as well so now today we are actually uh, looking at sending a channel message so whenever there is a new video uploaded so we wanted to get notified in our slack channel so after choosing my action event I'm going ahead and choosing continue I'm like all right so you see a bunch of uh, you know a couple of uh, slack accounts in my account already but you can still uh, I can show you like clicking I mean authorizing a new account as well so to authorize a new account, click on connect new account and that will take you to since I have already logged into my slack account in a di different tab so I'm directly you know uh, redirected to the permissions so I'm going ahead and allowing permissions All right, there you go. So I am going ahead and choosing my newly authorized account and continue. All right. So now after authorizing Slack account, so we do have a bunch of, you know, uh, configuration fields you see here, right? So now here we need to map the data that is actually syncing from the YouTube to Slack over here. So let me show you how to do that. So before we go ahead and map the data from the YouTube to Slack, I'm going to set up which channel in my Slack I wanted the YouTube, you know, the details has to be notified or send a message. So I'm going to choose a API Connect demo. So I want my YouTube details to be message out in happy pack connect demo channel right i mean like after selecting channel now you have to set up a message so this is the message when youtube i mean like you get a new video on youtube you i mean uh happy pack connect would send a message to your slack channel so now here once you click on the plus icon right you see a new youtube channel a new video in channel a trigger so you go ahead and hit that now you see the data that is actually coming in right from the YouTube right so this is how we are actually pulling the data so these are the attributes that you have to map so based on this. so let me say let me map, compose the message let's say hey you've got a new video that might be useful for your business check it out now after this manual message that I hunted I'm going to add the item snippet title so which is a YouTube title and I do want a description of my or I can actually choose a description let me go ahead and add video as well so here you go the play URL yep that's it so now I wanted my message to be as a snappy bot so yeah that's all so these are all the uh, uh, optional fields that you see here so if you want you can add it or you can leave that as an empty so this is what I right now I wanted so I'm going ahead and continue with that So now we are done with the uh, trigger setup and the action setup. Now it's time for uh, run a test. So let's go ahead and run a test and then see whether the test data from the uh, YouTube is receiving to Slack or not. Perfect. Now we are done with the test. Let me go ahead and choose alright so this is my slack account so before going to the slack account I just want to show you guys 
uh, yeah so I do have uh, already a draft video that I ha that is there in my account so uh, let me go ahead and you know let me go ahead and save this and publish the uh, video so the title of the video is connect YouTube with the slack and receive a channel message for every new video upload so this is the description and yeah save Yeah, so now I have done with the save and my YouTube is already published. There you go. Let me go ahead and check it out. Okay, let me see. right there you go so this is my video uh, video that I have just uploaded right now so okay all right so let me see if the video is actually synced over to slack there you go i see a new message coming in all right perfect so yeah see hey you've got a new video that might be useful for your business check it out connect youtube uh, with a slack and receive a channel message for every new video uploaded to your connect so here is the the you not know, track details i mean the title details of youtube and description and you see the youtube that is Synced over to Slack. Perfect. So even you can even go to the YouTube as well. All right. All right, so yeah, guys, this is how uh, you know you can actually integrate your YouTube and you know automate the data between third-party apps. And we do, uh, uh, I mean, and uh, allow end users to do uh, uh, many more e workflow integrations with the YouTube with the 150 plus apps that we have. Like for example, if you see, so whenever I have a, a video file uploaded into your Dropbox, then automatically upload it. Uh, the same video file into your into my video channel or a video account I'm like a YouTube YouTube channel and you know you can and whenever I have a video file in my Google Drive like you can automatically upload a video into my YouTube channel and whenever there is a, a new uh, video upload into my channel YouTube channel then automatically post the video right into my Facebook or Twitter or like Instagram like you know whatever so, so we have 150 plus apps like we do Hello, you know thousands of workflows with each and every app so hope you guys are able to understand like thank you so much for your time like and uh, have a good day thank you guys